Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are back in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space where we are trying to get 14 duplicates as far into the future and as comfortably as possible. And today we're finally, finally going to be addressing this liquid sulfur geyser over here. Here on Reverse Lint, we this is where we started the game. We've had this great big magma ocean above our heads the entire time and this one little engine, this one little steam machine over here has been doing a valiant job trying to clear it all out. Uh, we might very well be at the point now where we can start thinking about how we're going to be taking over this entire area. And one of the things that I want to do is of course let all of the liquids free on this side. One thing that I actually need to do to be able to tame this liquid sulfur geyser Every now and then, this will be erupting with 5 kilos per second at 165 degrees centigrade of liquid sulfur. Now, that is very hot. We can't just get our duplicates to go in there and mop it up uh, with their little mop orders. They will uh, they will burn. They will scold. That is far, far, far too hot. So we need to try and figure out a system to enable us to cool this down. And I think what I'm going to do is co construct a water trough underneath, one that we will run cooling pipes through and then have a selection of uh, shipping shipping equipment in there so that we can move all the materials around try and get them down to a, an appropriate temperature and move them off to what will be our sweet all farms but they're going to probably be built right over here now to do this i mentioned that i need to bring up a whole bunch of water but we cannot run water pipes past this hundred and uh, 1490 degree magma we send any water past there we're gonna have a lot of steam the steam will bust out of the pipes we'll have steam everywhere warming up being warm sorry from the magma it'll all get very hot very very bad and we won't be able to get any duplicates in there so we're gonna try we're gonna try and open up this area over here try and let all of this magma out and free and then see if we can't run this ladder up and then maybe get our water coming across from the side. If that doesn't work, we'll bring it up this way as well. But I feel like getting a separate way in there is the way forwards. Rutherford have very nicely come along and removed all, well not all the extraneous blocks, I've left these few in here because we don't want the liquid sulfur geyser going, but we've removed as many tiles as we can around the sulfur geyser. Uh, we are going to have a little bit of problems where we've got lots of obsidian and abyssalite that has been warmed up to magma temperatures, and we're really going to have to figure out how we can reduce those temperatures back down once we have gained uh, access to here because I'd really like to flood this area with oxygen again when when all the magma has been cleared I'd like this to become a nice little rocket and um, item redistribution center using the what, what, what are they called the interplanetary launchers the these bad boys here the fire packets across the, the uh, vacuum of space but here we go the magma not quite not quite the tumultuous flood that I was expecting but it is slowly all draining out of here. I'm hoping we will very quickly start to see all of this drain down and through. We could even maybe start moving ladders across. It's all made out of obsidian, so it should be able to resist the temperatures. Uh, another place I would like to start building is uh, down this way, and maybe, maybe we can start taking the front edge off of these uh, these constructions here. Oh, look, we've got a, a weird little little area here. I don't know whether this uh, this this tile is being built or not. We're going to ask someone to uh, to rip this tile apart and to rebuild that. Uh, someone, of course, being either Boar or Rutherford. That's all they do now. We've got ourselves a little bit of a vacuum chamber opened up at the top there. That is great. The magma just continues to flow. I wonder whether I want to dig that piece out as well. That might be uh, that might help us clearing some of the magma out indeed if I just kind of put that there hopefully this will not get melted I, I hope I hope well in fact it, it will not get melted because it's made out of obsidian and obsidian literally cannot be uh, melted by the power of magma at least what we have around here I'm sure it will be a fun little project at some point in the future to actually what are you doing for to actually try and melt the magma I, I didn't want you to go in and through there like that if I was I, there's the reason I built ladders there there is definitely a reason I built the ladder is there oh my gosh <laughs> 
Okay, overnight, the vast majority of this magma has managed to trickle its way out there, and I've set up this whole uh, line of ladders to come up here. I'm wondering where I can get the liquids from at this point. Who's scolding? Rutherford? What? Uh, okay, I mean, I suppose that's fine. We are in very warm situations over here. As soon as all of this gets built up, I'll start taking away this next layer as well. I'm unable to reach that build there. That's unfortunate. I wonder if I build this tile, whether that would be better. Also, indeed, that, that. Okay, that, that's, that continues this little diagonal slope up. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing a little diagonal slope there, mainly just to be able to reach everything. Like, uh, th that's why I've built these platforms to, uh, to reach everything, but I don't know why I've done it specifically diagonally. Of course, now the question is, as we've got it all starting to pull up, I'm not allowed to uh, to mop this. There is too much liquid on the floor. So we've got to try and keep building our little way out over this way. I don't know if this is now getting too close. Let's press F4 and have a look at the... Uh, the uh, level of the magma here uh, whilst it gets chewed down it will slowly but surely start to drain its way into this system over here and hopefully get compressed down um, via the magic of gravity of course into a little pool over here I'll be more than happy if it comes up towards this uh, this ladder layer over this way uh, that will make it so that we can continue on with a bunch of ladders this way and then start like I think first we'll take this whole area out with a digging order. Something like so. That one's neutronium at the top. That's fine. Uh, and then when we've done that, we're going to just start building tiles. We're going to fill this in, squeezing all the magma down until eventually we end up with a way up. And that, that's that's my plan, as well as doing th this whole, like, let's let's push the magma up from here thing. Because th this is going to be this is going to be our farming area here. We, we need this emptied. I find it interesting that sand doesn't melt in magma. Yeah, 1700 degrees. It would be nice. I mean, obviously, we're just going to turn it to liquid at that point. But it'd be nice to make a little little uh, glass pool somewhere. Do you guys want to make a glass swimming pool? I, I think that's going to be way off into the future. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, that would be nice. I feel like we could like definitely concentrate some heat. Do you think we could use glass as the input to a, a, an aqua tuner? No, unfortunately, aqua tuners can only go so hot themselves. <laughs> I do know that there are other materials that you can make aqua tuners out. We don't we don't have it here, but things like fullerene. But that requires materials from from the the the, uh, the asteroid that we've opened up via the power of a glitch. There was a, uh, a duplicate inside a spacecraft when we made a save, and for some reason that made this one open up. That that's that's the, the consensus that the the rocket ship was at zero zero, if you will, and it opened up our asteroid zero zero, something like that. We've had a small issue whilst digging down a lot of this obsidian. This in, this piece in particular is, uh, well, it was over a thousand degrees when I first spotted it. It is very, very quickly losing its heat to its surroundings. I've asked for people to come along and sweep these up, but uh, the reason that I found out that that piece was so hot is because Rutherford ended up taking so much damage that he uh, was incapacitated, and Boar is just trying, trying his best to pick up the slack all on his own. Uh, he's doing kind of okay. He's, he's He's doing all right, but like there are definite things that he can't do, such as uh, ripping down the abyssalite. So he's going to start with the farming supply. What, what farming? Oh, that's that's for a composter. Where are you even getting that from? Wow, all the way. Okay, that that's fine. But when you've done that, we've got a whole bunch of construction supplies to perform, uh, and then we've got some some stuff over here. What what what's this? You shouldn't be able to reach this. How are you reaching that? Well, well, we'll wait and see what he does. I think that's the uh, the only sensible option right here. Let's follow the cam. Store the storing sand. I mean, I suppose that's also a good shout. Yeah. Uh, incidentally, um, I, I made a classic mistake yesterday, uh, last episode, sorry, uh, where we were taking this carbon dioxide vent and we were pumping it through to, well, the plan was to pump it through to our slick ranch over here via this high pressure gas vent. Uh, unfortunately, I made the classic mistake of not figuring out that this is green and that's green, that this is not where I wanted to send it. This was where I wanted to send it. So I uh, rerouted the power, uh, rerouted the, uh, the gas line there. Would have been nice to come out this way down and across and been a little bit neater but uh we got we got a loop around instead and a whole bunch of stuff to rip down and reclaim materials from 
I was doing a quick roundup of all the other uh, asteroids here, and I went over to Irigao to see what was going on. I was expecting to be like, oh, okay, we need to get some polluted water. That That's not a problem. I was expecting the polluted water issue. What I was not expecting was my aqua tuner to be broken. I, uh, I totally see what happened. For some reason, my steam turbine didn't get connected up to the, uh, the power spline, and that stopped it running. I'm not sure entirely why, but hopefully there's enough steel around somewhere still there uh if someone could come and repair this i don't know how long it's going to take oh this is also a bit of a problem uh how do i disable this for the moment like like that let's ask my uh, duplicates to come along we, we don't want this to be turning we don't want to lose all the water that, that that's what we don't want to do we don't want to lose all the water if we can avoid it and it all dribbling out of the bottom is entire oh look okay that 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 would also work if hubble's going to come along and do the repair that that will work incredibly well for us uh hopefully someone coming along to do the rest of the material uh, the rest of the jobs that we have here as well a little worried about all of this turning into steam before uh we can actually get this repaired hubble doing a cracking job though uh if that's everything done we're just going to put that tile back in place and uh, be like hey actually that's more important than a ladder Th thank you very much okay going down to grab that okay great 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 job job is a uh, good and the thing we really need to do though is to uh, enable this building now uh, very high priority because we need to try and keep this below uh, 300 degrees something like that okay great great this is this is now Really? Really? You're just stopping right there? Okay. But this this should now be an entirely workable system. As long as, long as we can get the aluminium ore in place. Which we are running out of. we got little patches over here that we can get. Uh, like this this guy over there. I suppose this one there. Let, let, let's, let's set these up. That and that. We'll let, the, we'll let the water fall down. Why not? Oh look. All of this that we can dig as well. Okay. That, that fixed it. I think that fixed it. I think that fixed it. Okay, it's been a few cycles. Rutherford almost entirely back and fit. In fact, he, did you see that? Literally, just as we left, he was like, yep, I'm all good now, which means he's going to come up and try and deal with all this. Worrying, of course, about that piece of obsidian. Uh, Boar is moving stuff up and down, but I've got a feeling the moment he runs into it, he's going to be like, that was too hot for me. Uh, let's turn these down to eight because I don't, I don't really see the point of just getting those filled in without taking all of this lot down as well. A little bit worried about pinching some of the lava in the corner so i'm going to sweep across in this direction and hopefully keep that all free but of course the next thing i want to do is get these ladders in place so if someone could come along and fix those ladders in place that would be good looks like um looks like rutherford is going to do so back on reverse lynn just trying to get this extra power line in place here uh where where is the heavy watt wire uh, i want to try and connect this up to this oh that was that was too much there the problem of course is the fact that we do not have the materials really for that uh i'm slowly streamlining the power lines as you can see everything's becoming a straight line now it'd be really nice if we could move the hydrogen generator up to here and not have this ridiculous kickoff of a system maybe even get this power transformer uh closer to the power spline there and then we wouldn't have to worry about yeah ex extra blocks being used it's still a very small amount of stuff that we actually have here uh mostly going to be um supplemented by steel which only gets done when people over here decide that we we've had enough stuff uh have we got where is it this this here we got uh eggshells being made let's empty let's ask people to empty the storage uh because i do believe yeah up here we've got some being sent across is it blagolia i think it's blagolia that's sending us all the stuff I find it interesting that we're picking up obsidian at let's have a look 1400 degrees yet we're building ladders at 45 let's see let's see if we can watch this happen again so again we've picked up the obsidian at 1400 degrees we go and make this ladder all right maybe maybe not uh we go and create this ladder 1400 degrees and then this suddenly out of nowhere 45 we, we just lost like uh, 1400 degrees out, out of nowhere it's all gone that could have been power that could have been power instead it's just being deleted interesting way I, I wonder whether we could warm up obsidian and then build ladders out of it deleting the heat take the obsidian apart uh, take the ladders apart, sorry, and then you've got cool obsidian to start warming up all over again. Seems a little exploity to me, but this game kind of is built on exploits. 
And whilst we watch Rutherford go around and deal with some of the hottest products in the game, I would like to take this moment right here and tell you about the hottest products I know. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that got along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future as comfortably as possible. At this point in the game, each episode of Oxygen Not Included takes me at least three hours a week to knock out. And as some of you know, I am currently a studying astrophysicist and those three hours are quite precious to me. So we, I think we all need to take a moment and thank these people scrolling up the screen right now for giving me the priority to go ahead and play these games so thank you thank you so much guys okay it's taken a legitimate hour and a half but we might slowly be making our way to the point where we can actually get ourselves some tiles being built and uh getting some access way from underneath here i'm not going to build the ladder down because rutherford is the guy who likes to do all the digging if i put those orders down there he's going to sweep down and around that's uh rather close to standing in the magma there rutherford i hope you're doing okay know what you're doing with those particular issues we got ourselves some obsidian delivery waiting rutherford is uh able to get there but i'd rather he did all the other digging and stuff first uh i wonder whether he'll be able to let us put down i don't want to i don't want to dig these out i don't see any need to so i'm wondering whether i can just get across without actually doing so maybe we'll just leave this like this we'll, we'll see what happens here okay that was very interesting turns out he will dig over doing a uh, a build that that's fine that's fine i kind of wish he wouldn't have stood okay bye we're gonna build a ladder this ladder over here okay guys well, this ladder underneath okay we've started building some of the uh, the cooling chamber around the liquid sulfur geyser i really wanted to do this first though uh yeah <laughs> Well, he went and stood in it anyway, but I suppose that's fine. Let's uh, cancel that one. Don't really need that. Where are you? Where are you going now, my friend? <laughs> he's ahead of me. Uh, he's coming over to do this. Okay, that that that's fine. We're just going to keep on placing down tiles until we can eventually squeeze all this magma uh, away. I just I just want it this far, just this far, and then I'll be happy. All night time could be called, I suppose. Yeah, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Things have not been going smoothly over here. We've been managing to condense a lot of the obsidian down to igneous rock, and that's pretty cool. But what I really want it to do is all flow down, uh, downhill. I uh, just just get down here and into my machine. For some reason, it seems like it doesn't really want to flow all that easily. So I'm having to like build blocks above it and, and then kind of box it in and then build it down, which is a trouble. Which is serious trouble, especially two hours into this uh, recording session. Wow. This has taken a lot longer, and I haven't even really got onto the bit that I really wanted to do today. Hmm. Man, I'd never noticed quite how much of an athletics boost the sparkle streaking gives you, and athletics plus eight is ridiculous. All right, hopefully Rutherford's coming straight onto this bit. What, why, why don't you want to do that in a nice, simple manner, Rutherford? What's, what's going on here? Let's see what else he's like trying to fight with. I, d I don't know. I don't know what else is going on here. Uh, that, that was a, a weird little situation to find ourselves in. Check the priorities here. This should be fine, I do hope. I mean, yeah, you can do that one first, I suppose. It might lead us to a few troubles, but hopefully it's all just going to flow downhill, right? Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, so that one gets filled in. The one under our feet gets filled in. Hopefully nothing comes upwards with this and just gets pushed forwards. Anything does come up, I feel like it's going to uh, condense pretty quickly into solid... Uh, okay, well, can, can we mop that? Is that a thing? Mop zero? Yeah, I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens. Okay, there we go. Uh, well, we've got some magma in a bottle now. I have, I have no idea what we're going to do with magma in a bottle. <laughs> Okay, let's start by building this, like, up diagonal tile. Then we'll build these two underneath as long as uh, we are following the priority numbers here. That should then force some magma up, but it, it should stop it backflowing. That's 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 my main key here. I want to stop the backflow. Uh, okay, let, let's see how this... I'm, I'm hoping putting these tiles in place doesn't then 
Phil Rutherford's tile up. That That's the main one I'm worried about, is this becoming filled with magma. How far away are we? We're so far away. We've got so many more to do. Okay, that was pretty good. Stop, Rutherford. That's not the one I want you to do. I want you to start with this one and then have this one underneath done. Let's uh, let's just move Rutherford. This normally is pretty good to reset their, uh, their build orders. Okay, that looked pretty good. This one going in place first. Uh, okay, if if we could get this one done, I'd be much happier, Rutherford. All right, fine. That let's let's do that one. I don't I don't mind. Whatever. We have jumped quite a way into the future. I've got a whole pipeline laid down all around the outside, but more importantly, I made myself a little bit of an airlock here. I started like building my way up and of course, putting all of these insulated tiles down uh, before I realized, wait, I've got to make myself at least a liquid lock here. Uh, I had a, a small little area opened up. I put down all this petroleum and pumped the gases out that were in there, uh, made myself a nice little clean area. And then from this side, I made a pipeline coming through, of course, sealed off the obsidian with a insulated tile that's gonna get hot set up for another liquid lock but we can't get the liquids up and through there yet because I've left everything locked up we've got a little bit of magma there and if that drops on top of the petroleum I think we're gonna be in trouble so over here I have set up a magma uh, it, what, what, what is anybody doing right now someone's got the suit out here we go uh, Rutherford is coming along and putting in some more pipeline as soon as he has uh, got rid of all the granite in his inventory Tree. I am going to hit this button over here. We we need we need that magma. We need that magma moved. Step one, yoink. Step two, pour. Ideally, all over your, yourself, of course. And then step three, repeat as necessary, which I will be doing as soon as Rutherford picks up this obsidian. I don't know what he's going to do with those bits of obsidian. Uh, maybe these two ladders here that I uh, asked to be put in place for ease of access. Oh, it made some. Igneous rock right there. Okay, that that's very interesting. Can that that so that means we've got all the magma. I guess I'm gonna leave that there. I was just thinking about how I need to build what tile further up because when I start pour, pouring the water, I do not want it landing on the magma. That that is by far like the worst thing that could happen. So a little little lip of a block is definitely the way forwards. Uh, I think actually it it's time. It might be time. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these two pipes up, uh, and then further further down we have another pipe to connect. This is uh, very close to being just done though. I didn't need to uh, actually build anything new. This is a new thing though. Okay, it took a little bit of time, but here we go. Oh, some of that is 400 degrees of this. Like, can I stop Rutherford doing that? Build myself a... Uh, let, let, let's do this. What have we got? We've got Igneous Rock here, so let's build that there. Rutherford, you need to move move over there this becomes the highest priority in your life yep okay we can make that happen this is good this is good uh and then we go can you store sweep all everything and then hopefully we should have yeah okay there we go we we, we could just get all of this stuff picked up before it gets dropped yeah and in fact that abyss light over there also needs to be moved that would be very handy indeed all right turn that down to a nine and that should now allow this to be done a little bit of abyss light dropped on the floor there okay that that's fine though that's fine i'm going to cancel that we're going to send rutherford look he was trying to get down and out straight away and that's exactly why i'm going to put uh, a movement uh, order over that way. Keep going, keep going. Okay, great. And then we're gonna lock the door. <laughs> okay, that's that's beautiful. What what even got dropped on the floor there? It's some oh, thankfully not ridiculous temperature uh, obsidian. Okay, that that's good. Take a breath. I want Boar to come along here now and drop off some petroleum. Very very important. Very important. Uh, you shouldn't be able to get through there. Where are you going? What are you doing? No, move this way. Stop. You you can't you can't go that way. Okay, that's better. That's better. I have no idea now who is on the job. It is indeed Boar. Great. Okay. Okay, that was some. I'm not sure that's as much as I wanted. I just I I think I want a little bit touching the door as well. Uh, you know what? That will do. Let, let's let's just leave that like that. Let's not push our luck. There's definitely going to be vacuum, so that's the important thing. 
Oh no, look what we've just done. Thankfully not too much. So the storage bin, should have put it up there. That would have been the smarter play. In fact, I'm going to uh, make a copy of it over there and we'll, we'll get that done. Uh, sour gas everywhere, but thankfully, yeah, the temperature's starting to go back down. So the sour gas is very hot. Oh no, oh no, why did you die? Quick, get someone on that now. Okay, this is a problem. We've got water flowing through. Maybe it's not a problem. Maybe this will help me cool the sour gas down because it's touching this obsidian and getting a ridiculous amount of heat inside it. Uh, I really hope it doesn't flash the rest of my petroleum into too hot. Uh, it looks like it's going to though. Mm, okay, this is this is big problems. This is big, big problems. And also, just dropping the gas here might not be the winner. Well, we'll wait and see what happens. The flowing cold water is definitely assistance here. Uh, we should just now be dropping water into the trough. Uh, after we fill up the trough to about here, I'm not sure whether we want to try and top up these two or not. Uh, we then want to spill some water over the feet of the uh, steam turbine here so that we can cool it with the aqua tuna as well. How much water are we going to need here? I, I honestly have no idea we're just gonna keep going we're just I, I want this to be filled with liquid so it's gonna take a lot okay so we're picking up very small amounts of sour gas at 30 degrees i have no idea how we're getting it at 30 degrees maybe it's uh, going past all these ladders and being picked up down here that is causing that you can see that it sometimes gets down here but most of the time not touching the petroleum at all this it, it's go it's get cl climbing in temperature and i don't like that if it goes up to 5 30 it will sw uh, flash into a whole bunch more sour gas. Hopefully we can keep the amount of gas in the air down nice and low. I wonder whether I want to dig out these two tiles as well so this um, mini gas pump can can do its magic and also like the base will be cooling down the gas as well. Th this whole tile here is relatively cool. Ooh, it's quite hot at the top here. So little sour gas seems to be being thrown out that it's just not not giving that much temperature, which I think I'm okay with. I think I can live with this. Rather for getting a, a serious scolding there, again, I think I'm okay with this for the moment. Let's uh, let's deconstruct that stuff there. No, he, he's, he's running away. Wait, where are you running? Where are you running? Store some mud. How is storing mud a higher priority? I'm, uh, I'm just going to move you back. Okay, this is going to cause big troubles, but we, we, we need to get it done. Hopefully everybody can come along and do this. Everybody being Rutherford and Boar, of course. Uh, we then store everything here. Sweep only. Highest priority. Let, let's go, go, go. Okay, that that worked. That worked. We moved everything away, so hopefully this tile can start returning to a regular temperature. I think that's what was going on there. We had a bit of a temperature swap between the storage bin and the floor. Maybe, maybe. Well, it's taken a near pathological disregard to my uh, duplicate's needs and indeed my own plans that I had running. But uh, 45 minutes later or so, we've got to the point where we have single digit of, well, down here we've got some single digit sour gas. Uh, every now and then I am firing both pumps up, but of course the single generator cannot produce enough power to run the two. So when we get close to a full battery, I fire that up and then when the battery gets close to nearly being empty again, Again, I once again just cut the line, let the power, let the battery build up and empty. 44 micrograms. We are definitely starting to get there. In fact, it might even now not be worth running the uh, the bottom the uh, the bottom pump because it's only going to be able to reach ve very small numbers of micrograms now. Downtime has been called, but as has been the way for oh, several days now, I just don't care. We're going to run them overnight. Oh, we have self-perpetuating vacuum down here. We have run out of uh, power for the gas pumps. I'm going to get them to fill up the battery once more this morning. Uh, and, and we should just be watching this gas destroy itself now. We're at 12, 13 up the top here. Oh, that's, that, that's cool. Battery gets charged up again. We're going to try and 
it's uh, like eat just a little bit more of that sour gas but uh, the more that it gets sucked up uh, the more it just destroys itself at this interface two or three micrograms at the main area there the main front uh, eight at the back we're just waiting for it all to to drift across the line i wish there was a way to see the flow of gases uh, i'm sure if i sat here and uh, took some numbers and and ran the the numbers for a little while i could do some of my fancy maths that i've been learning at university and figure out the flow but i i wish we could just see it you know Okay, so it's taken the best part of another hour. We are at hour four and a half. No, sorry, three and a half. We're, we're approaching we're approaching hour four at some point shortly. Uh, I want to try and power this whole thing, but obviously the uh, the power for the thermal aqua tuner, we can't run it up through the magma. I mean, we probably could. The steel could probably... Let, let's, let's have a look. Conducting wire properties. Uh, melting point of 2,000. So we, we probably could just go straight up and down, but that seems like a bit of a trouble. So what we're going to do instead is uh, take it all the way around here. Now, trying to weave my way through these power lines down here was was the uh, entire reason why we're not doing this live. I knew this would be a bit of a uh, nightmare to navigate my way through, but I managed to get down and we, we did a little double jump over this way and we come down and built ourselves a small uh, power state substation here to run the energy over here. Hopefully the steam turbine will be providing a lot of the power for the thermal aqua tuner and we won't have to worry about it. But there's a few things we need to do before this will even get up and running and the first thing is uh, provide a little bit of a thermal... Uh, um, not barrier, what do I want? A thermal conduit, a thermal flow, a thermal path to go from the, let, let's, let's open up with the F6 if it lets me when the, uh, to go from the cooling line that I have in the background, we're going to end up using this same line for other things. So we, we've got a cooling line in the background that actually is the uh, the water supply at the moment. That's going to cool down the, the steam turbine, uh, but we want to we want to spill some water down here first to make sure that the, the cooling line can actually chill the steam turbine. Uh, the next Next thing we're going to do is fill these in. I did already build, build us in there once and then go, oh, actually, I need to run the power up across. Uh, so we, uh, we we had to break our way back in there. A little bit disappointed that we've not actually got this open yet. Uh, I've got a feeling that the, uh, the you know, I want that at super high priority. Let, let, let's get that done. I want to have some liquids and I want to have them now. But I'm fairly sure, given that we have seen this erupting quite quite con consistently whilst we've been building this, I'm fairly sure the moment I come to dig that out, we're going to end up with a dormant volcano. That's just the way my life goes. Uh, how how do I feel about that? Well, I'm already sad about it, if I'm to be honest with you. I'm already sad. Anyway, we, we've spilt the water that we wanted to spill. I'm now going to uh, dig up that liquid vent because this li these pipes now become part of the cooling system. So I want to pull this over here uh, we're gonna have this feeding in at some point but I want to have that so this gets broken right here so that carries on through thus woods actually I don't want to have that connected uh, that being changed into a gold pipe but I will have this one being changed into a gold pipe no stop why are you changing my radiant pipes don't do that uh, I will take this one being changed into gold to continue the cooling uh, so the cooling comes around through the water down gets cooled pumped back up uh, we're gonna have to go all the way up over the bridge and down because of course this liquid here which I have already made an insulated pipe for uh, will be running all the way through from the steam turbine yes okay so the only thing left to do is to drop water in the steam turbine uh, and I think we can do that as soon as these two right here have been down oh, Rutherford was on it anyway oh no wait where'd the steam come from how did, it, did anybody see? I don't think I broke any water. Any, ooh, why? Where? Hmm. Why is there water down here? No, that's it condensing, right? Oh, that's... I mean, it's not really bad, but it's quite bad. Look, it's just happened. Whatever. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. But how did I drop water? I don't... I've not destroyed anything. I've only built onto. I yeah. I actually don't know. I actually don't know. Did we drop something super? Ah, the copper ore. The copper ore is hot. And what about this one over here? Uh, yeah. Okay. That's 
Not ideal. Can we sweep them? Can we sweep them? If we if we can get these fixed, what's yellow alert? Uh, uh, insulate. Oh man, why 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 is everything suddenly? My life is like steam, steam, steam. Uh, F7. What's going on? We've had a broken pipe up here. We've got some other broken pipes around. I think we could probably get to this one by deconstructing there and digging this lot out. But this is not what I wanted. The worst bit is, I don't really know why that broke. I can only guess that some uh, that, that this overpressured. That when all this got filled with water, that the high cap, a high pressure vent at the top here uh, was it was over overpressured. Just got got overwhelmed by the local environment and had to uh, had to just shut down. And that somehow led to this cooling down. I guess this. Radiant liquid pipe here also probably doesn't help. Let's have a look. Yeah, that, that probably doesn't help. Let's let's change that as well if we can. Okay, that's one set of gas pipes fixed, but man, that, that was horrific. What's on yellow alert still? A ladder. Uh, well, that, that will get done. That is fine. How are things going over here? Uh, the steam is going up or down? I hope it's going down. How did oxygen get in here as well? Wait, what? Wait, what? Legitimately, how did the oxygen get in here? Well, we're vacuum over here, so it can't be this side. It must have come in through this corner here somehow, but I just don't know. Oh, I did forget to get the steam turbine made. We need someone with the uh, electrical engineer skill, which means we're going to steal Franklin from from this horrific place. Somehow, the steam is cooling down and condensing before it gets all the way up here. I'm very tempted to say, hey, if this is steam, just drop it back into the environment and we'll, we'll just keep warming up the environment. But I think that's also a bad idea. Maybe we could just condense it over here or something like that. Get our duplicates to pick it up. This this long distance turns out is just a little too much. Oh, Frank, Franklin, we're here, we're here for Franklin. Uh, so teleporter, Franklin, please, wherever you are, come, come along and let, let's get you out of here. Out of this um, absolute... Um, what alarm ridden hellhole i i feel i feel that like that's what's going on here we're we're not not having a great time over here right now but that's all to do due to do with uh, liquids condensing in the wrong place and I, I suppose we can figure that out at some point hello franklin how are you doing you need to come over here please bam and that's it that's 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 all we needed it for just to do that are there any other jobs we need could do with like a uh, a sweeper not here i don't think we could probably put one under there but i think for a little while we're just gonna have it being manual at least until we can level up one of uh, the boar or rutherford whilst they're here okay if that's it if that's it franklin please do be going back home. Where, where are you? Is that, is that literally your top priority order now? Great. This is what we like to see. Uh, let's, let's just send you home. Good, good luck with your future mission. I hope it is a solid one. Okay, yeah, whilst everyone's going insane building these wires together, I think I'm going to go ahead and get some of this water into here. This should start the flow. There's no flow going. Why not? I think it's because the place that I've joined it onto is equal distance from uh, green and white. If I do that, yeah, there we go. Okay, how much do we want? I don't think we actually want that much. It doesn't take too much to have a, a steam explosion. So let's go until we get to about 100 kilos of water on the bottom, so something like that something like this somewhere around here uh that's probably good enough because when i cut the wa the water line here there the rest goes pouring out uh, i'm now going to disconnect here uh, and run this up to there and then grab another gold line and then just complete the loop the the loop is now round oh look we're getting closer and closer with the uh, the the water uh, no sorry the power line now uh i just i just need to Drop this in here like this and make some more. Okay, why won't this fill up? Uh, let, let's try doing doing that one. Will that make it flow? That will make it flow. We'll just we'll just fill this system up and then uh, and then put a little hole. Uh, fill this and we'll just have a little hole in there. I'm fairly sure if I went up and across, we could probably completely fill it. But like this this will probably do. This will. I mean. It's not quite for look at that look at that gap there look at that gap it puts these little blobs of water on that leading edge of the gap at risk but i think we're okay i think this should be able to uh we should be able to live with this 
Now the real question is, how do we how do we empty all this out? <laughs> how, do, how does this liquid pipe full of uh, full of water get empty again? Uh, it's time. It's time. We are we are going to dig that liquid sulfur geyser. In fact, we are going to make sure it happens. Far where is scolding? Rutherford scolding? What down here? Some. <laughs> How did it happen? How did it happen? Liquid, petroleum, go, go, go. Uh, I don't know how it happened. Let's press F4. Is there any sound? There's a little pocket of sour gas. Oh, that's really bad. We were we were so close to getting all the oxygen back out of here. Ah, uh, that, that, that makes me rather sad. Okay, we got the seal back in place, but oh man, that that was that was actually bad. That was actually bad. We seem to enjoy dropping oxygen. Anyway, the uh, the liquid sulfur is busy doing its thing. We're dropping it in the water. It's getting pretty hot and trying to vent steam. I didn't realise it was going to get quite that hot. Let's uh, let's go across over the top here and close this in properly, uh, and that should stop it fully exploding anywhere. We, we've got nothing but oxygen around us here. Oh, I suppose there is steam there. That's um, interesting. Thankfully, Radiant Pipe doing its job. I think it would actually be better if we had the Radiant Pipe coming out and over here. Uh, perhaps we can get duplicates doing that. But, bam! Sulfur. I, I knew we could get it. I knew we could get it. Okay, we're slowly getting the aqua tuna to chill every all the water down as well. Uh, we're only going um, at like up to 20. If it goes over 20 degrees, which some of these are, but if we go over 20 degrees, it will then uh, try and cool the liquid back down. I'm kind of surprised that this steam hasn't exploded everywhere. It's a very small amount just trapped down here, so I, I will I will take that. It's a thousand degrees. Wow, this must be steam from the previous um, explosion on the on the magma down there, uh, keeping a very uh, interesting barrier. I didn't I didn't think it would be quite. Look, this steam's only 44 degrees thousand degrees interesting thousand degree oxygen 600 degree oxygen okay <laughs> thermal aqua tuna of course doing the business here is it going to be enough i think it is i think it. we're going through at nine degrees yeah this this is looking good this is looking good the, the next thing we need to see is what happens when uh, the water in here turns to steam in the cool box Oh, back up to 70 grams. Oh, that is so much oxygen. So, so much oxygen. I'm also going to put a door on the on this uh, little area here so that we can get in and out if we need to. I don't, I don't think that's going to be a pr big problem that we're going to face in our lives. Is the uh, ball not getting straight on this? Turns out he'd rather build the tiles that are not on a high priority. Really? Really? All right, bye-bye, ball. What, what, what are you? What's more important to you? Build the ladder. Okay. Okay, we've got the pipes in place. Took some finessing and finagling, but they're there. That's pretty good. No one wants to come and put this door in place. Rutherford, he's he's on it. Okay, did that deal with the steam? It did condense the steam. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, if only we had maybe uh, another one of these coming up here and across. Not, not, um, not thermally conductive into the... Into the... Uh, the insulated tile here else that would be a waste okay we've gone from 70 grams to 42 grams just in the time it's taken rutherford to go and grab some stuff so that that's pretty good that's pretty good oh no it's happened the sulfur has vaporized why 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 did that happen i don't actually i assume it just picked up heat from around okay maybe we're gonna re reseal this <laughs> maybe we're gonna reseal this I sure hope Obsidian, when it turns into a, uh, a, lick, a temperature shift plate, does the same thing as it did with uh, ladders. Because we've got 700 degrees worth of Obsidian in there. It's 800 kilos. It's quite, it's quite a lot of heat to just try and dump into the water here. We're way, way in advance of 800 kilos, but 600 degrees is a lot. Uh, I wonder what the specific heat capacity of Obsidian is. It's 0 0.2 compared to the 
uh, not that, radiant pipe, I'm after the actual water, uh, compared to the four of actual water, so this should be okay, even if uh, that is not the case. Temperature shift plate, and the, and the temperature is dropping so fast, the, the whole time. We are, of course, just chilling down everything with the uh, with the radiant liquid pipes here, so that, that should work out quite well for us. Keep seeing uh, sulfur condense on these tubes, yeah, 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 and then... Uh, Pick it that uh, gets thrown back up towards the pipe. This uh, makes me worry about the contents of the pipes here, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Uh, Night time has become this temperature shift pipe, by the way. Try and pull the temperature out of this sulfur. Uh, it's only just over 100 degrees right now, and I'd like to get it down to uh, to regular degrees if possible. And then I'm going to build another liquid sh uh, temperature shift plate over here. The reason I made it out of obsidian is because it moved the obsidian from in front of the uh, the liquid sulfur uh, liquid geyser here. Um, I need to do something with this refined carbon. Can I do this as refined carbon? Does not look to be so. Okay, this temperature shift plate is fast rising in temperature. I'm worried about a lot of this uh, liquid sulfur outgassing into uh, in, into uh, vapor sulfur again, uh, causing us some uh, troubles. Hopefully, uh, this will one shut the whole system down, but two also stop the uh, liquid sulfur from vaporizing too much. Uh, I'd like to keep the density of oxygen around pretty low pretty low okay yeah this, this seems to be working quite well for us uh, i think we've got a full system working here we've got steam being chilled down back into water we've got the uh, the, the aqua tuna chilling down the ex the other water here that we've got also killing down uh chill cooling down the liquid sulfur uh, i also have to I, I should have done this much much earlier in the episode uh give some credit to two legit city uh they are the person who came up up with well they, this this section of the design here they also wanted me to put an extra bit of water in there but i just streamlined it down put this right next door uh so two legit city they're really really good oni player check them out um uh, but with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where hopefully this liquid geyser will have actually shut down uh we've got the melting point of uh 200 degrees here and i'm not sure whether this is going to go up that high but i will see you then oh and we're gonna do that Bye.